Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so, so much for watching my videos. And thank you all for 350 subs. I'm so appreciative and so thankful for this. Without further ado, let's get into this video. I'm going to be doing a notes flip through of my year long notes from first year of university in the life science program. First up, I'm starting with biology. I'll be having the timestamps in the description below with each subject so you guys can forward to which subject you prefer to see. So this is my parts of the cell note. This is the very, very first note that I've ever taken on my iPad Pro. It's one of my favorites because it was kind of a new note taking style for me. Afterwards, I have some of my lecture notes over here on the side. And as you can see, my notes were very different from how it is now. It is evident that I used way too many highlighters for my notes over here. The problem is that if you highlight everything, you're basically highlighting nothing at all and it does nothing to improve your studying. For the diagram portion of my notes, I usually take the diagrams from my ebook version of the textbook and then I annotate them separately. This is so useful for me because I don't want to waste too much time drawing my diagrams if I have perfectly good diagrams right in the textbook. As you can see over here, this is my glycolysis diagram. I drew it on Procreate and then imported it into Notability. I'm so proud of it. I have the JPEG version of it if anyone's interested. Maybe I can actually have it linked in another video or linked in this video afterwards. Now, as you can clearly see, the right side of my notes, they are so colorful. It's not even funny. Look at these notes. It's a little too hard on the eyes. I did not, absolutely not, need to highlight all of these words. And so my note-taking system right now and color coding is a lot more minimalistic than what you see in these notes. Am I still proud of these? Yes, of course, because I hand wrote those and I highlighted them. I put in my work into these and they did give me a good mark, but I just think it could have been done a little more efficiently and simpler. Moving on, now we're at the chemistry portion of my notes. These were my lecture notes from chemistry. I did not rewrite my notes for this subject. I just wrote it in lecture as is. I still used Notability for these portions of my notes and I'll tell you guys when I actually switched to good notes. Down in the bottom right, we have my little hot dog diagram. I was so proud of it. It was to explain stoichiometry by my chemistry teacher and I just thought I should redraw it because it was so cute. On the right, you can see the point where I switched to good notes and I was still getting a little used to it because I wasn't too sure about it. I was so used to notability up until this point, but good notes was a really good app. And at the top right, I have my little Schrodinger's cat. I thought it was so cute, I just had to draw it. So at this point, I was starting to switch to having multicolored pens instead of multicolored highlighters. And as you can see, as my notes progress, there'll be less and less of the highlighters and more and more of colored pens.
And now we're on to physics. I did have more chemistry notes, but this should probably come in the digital portion of my notes flip through. I'll show you guys this in a separate video. So physics, again, I use the textbook diagrams, and this is when I switch to Cornell note-taking. For the sake of this video, I did not print all of my notes that I've taken in first year of university because some of them were taken on dark paper and printing them would be a huge waste of ink. The good side is that I will still be making a digital flip through of my notes so that you can see how much my notes have changed over this one year. At the right, I have one of my physics kinematic uh, diagram explanations. Again, I thought this was really adorable, so I just had to put it in here. And now we're on to my MCAT notes. Again, for my MCAT notes, I did take them on dark paper. These are just the Cornell version and white paper uh, notes that I did take from before. that's it for this video guys thank you so 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 much for watching this video and once again thank you so much for subscribing to my channel it really really means a lot to me let me know down in the comments if you would like to see the digital version that I flip through and once again I thank you all goodbye <laughs>